Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my modding series. Today we're going to take a look at national focuses. So we're going to launch the game, we're going to play as Catalonia, and you're going to see that we have the basics of the focus tree. So we're going to change that, and when the game loads I'm going to open up Atom, and we're going to start working on the tree. Alright, so right now you can see basic focus tree. Okay, so we're going to open Atom. Now you see I've prepared a little focus. So first of all, we're going to open our files. We're going to go to our mod files again. So documents, paradox, arts Fire 4, mod, catalonia. And we're going to go to common and create a folder called national focus. So once you've done that, we're going to open it and we're going to make catalonia.txt. You don't need anything there um, right now, but um, I'll show you how to make the focuses next. So first of all, you should know that um, it doesn't matter what you call this file. You can call it, um, I don't know, Bradwurst, for example. It doesn't matter because uh, in the file you specify what what it's going to be used for and you do that by saying this you're going to say this is a focus tree and we're going to say it's id equals catalonian oops focus this is for localization, by the way. And then we're going to say the country that are going to use the focus trees. The base factor for a focus tree, which means um, the importance factor, uh, we're going to set to zero because we don't want other countries to use the focus tree. So then we're going to say modifier for that factor equals add 10 for tag equals cat. So now if our tag is cat, it's gonna use this focus tree because our factor is bigger than the standard focus tree. So then we're gonna say default equals no. So it doesn't try to make it the standard tree. And then we can start modding. So a focus tree is built up uh, from an ID, which is usually written as your country's tag, and then the focus you're gonna um, name it. So we're gonna say this is Ignite Civil War. And then we're gonna give it an icon, but I'm not gonna do that right now. You can look in the game files for those. Um, so I'm going to skip that for now. Um, there is no prerequisite. Prerequisites are uh, the focuses you need to complete before you can do this one. Um, if you have the first focus, you're not going to use this. So we're just going to remove this. It's not going to be mutually exclusive. And it's going to be x equals 0 and y equals 0. Those are the coordinates in the tree, so that's basically right here. So then we're going to say AI will do, well, as it's the uh, first focus, only if we do set it to 0, it's not going to do it. So this doesn't really matter right now, but for um, some trees it does. So available means you can only do this focus um, when you have certain prerequisites. So say um, we have num of factories equals bigger than uh, 15, 10 let's say. So if we have more than 10 factories, we can do this focus. So I'm gonna set it to five for now, So we, because we have uh, four, sorry, because we have five factories. So this is uh, when we can do the focus. 
So then bypass is of course what bypasses the focus. So let's say um, as this is ignite the civil war, let's say the bypass is SPR because that's Spain's tag by the way. You can look at those tags if you hover over it you'll see right of owner SPR number 15. Okay so SPR equals is sorry as war equals yes we'll say well this isn't this obviously includes other wars but we'll just assume that the first war they'll have is a civil war so that's the bypass and then cancel is something that isn't used very often but it's basically if you don't meet requirements anymore it's going to cancel the focus so we're not going to do that and we're also going to say cancel if invalid equals no continue if invalid equals yes we don't really need this we can just remove this because we don't have a cancel and available if capitulated well let's just say oh, oops yes So then your complete tooltip, that's basically what it says on the focus. So, let's see the Y text in Navy, that's the tooltip. And uh, all these are basic tooltips, but if we, for example, take the German focus tree, you'll see this, the effect, is a custom tooltip, because you, you can't... Um, write that in code basically so we can do this in localization so we're just going to make another localization file and we're going to say tool tips l english dot yml and then we're going to say l english zero not Sarah, sorry. <coughs> We're gonna say, yeah, that's really good about Atom, by the way. You can just swipe it to the right and use two, um, uh, two editors, so to say. So we're gonna say, we're gonna call this effect tooltip cat, cat tooltip, sorry, civil war tooltip. And then we're going to say here, cat civil war tooltip zero. This focus will spark the Spanish civil war. So that's our tooltip right now. It doesn't matter in what kind of um, uh, name this has. Let's just call it Catalonia tooltips to stay with our um, with our theme all right so we're gonna save this we're gonna open this in sublime text and save it with encoding oh oops Save with encoding UTF-8 with bomb. Close <laughs> sublime text again. Okay, so now we have this tooltip and it should work. All right, so we're going to say um, completion reward. So that's what you actually get from the focus. And we're going to say country, sorry, S SBR. That's the country which is going to get it. Equals country event id equals spain.1 days let's say 15 days so it's gonna fire an event for spain in 15 days this event is the civil war so we're gonna ignite the civil war so we're gonna save this we're going to remove something I forgot, the relative position ID. What this means 
is um, when you go to Spain. You'll see this focus, army effort. We could say this focus is relative to this focus. And then we would say x equals 4. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. And that is our relative ID. This is very useful because let's say if you're uh, modding Japan, if you want to move one thing, one uh, X to the right, it's going to move everything to the right instead of you having to manually move everything yourself. So um, that's usually a good habit to use, but this is the first focus, so we're not going to do that. And then we're going to add an icon, we're just going to call it generic worth common turn, which can be found in the game files again. I'll, if people want to know where the location is, if you go to interface, I think, not sure, and then to... Goals... Yeah, there it is. So you can uh, find all the focuses you want, the focus pictures. So now that we've done all this, we're going to save it. And we're going to click on our focus. All right, so in a few days, we're going to get the focus. And we should see Spain entering a civil war. Uh, that said, I disabled AI, so that's probably not the best idea. So, in 15 days, because we said it's going to take 15 days, they should get the uh, event. And there we go, we triggered the Civil War. So, that's basically our focus. So now let's say we wanted to um, make a focus which does something a bit more interesting. We're going to make another focus. We're going to call it cat. Um, yeah, sure. Annex Balearic Islands. And we're going to give it a generic. Uh, pretty sure it's demands. Generic demand territory. All right, and then we're going to make it cost five. We're going to do relative position ID equals cats ignite civil war. And then we're going to set this to uh, available well we're gonna make it always available so we're just gonna remove this we're gonna say prerequisite equals focus equals cat ignite civil war so this focus is gonna require you to complete this focus so um, then we're gonna say bypass because we're going to annex the Balearic Islands we're going to say we're going to check this state state number 177 so we're going to say 177 is owned by equals uh, cat that's the bypass so if we already own the state it's not going to do it so available if capitulated we're going to say no because it's where to gain land if you do nothing and then we're just going to leave the tooltip if you leave the tooltip it's just going to say what it does on your completion reward so we're going to say cat transfer state that means we're going to switch it from one country to another and we're going to say transfer state equals 177 and we're going to save it. Now our focus tree is reloaded, but we didn't give it the correct position. So we're going to say 
let's make it R Y one. I'm gonna save it again, and you'll see. There we go. So I'm gonna complete that one, and then if we complete this one, you'll see it doesn't my pass because we don't own the state. We complete it, and we gain the Balearic Islands. Nice. So as I've ignored it for a short while, we're gonna do it now because we don't have localization for our focuses. This looks really bad in any mod you use, so always get your localization right. So we're gonna copy the toolsteps file because it's already in the correct encryption and uh, encoding. Sorry. So paste. We're going to rename this to Catalonia Focus. And we're going to say Cat Ignite Civil War. Always um, do this uh, bracket zero, by the way. This is very important, otherwise, it's not going to realize the focus has ended. And we're going to say our focus is ignite the civil war, Spanish civil war. Then our second focus is an Expanderic Islands. So now we have those two focuses. If we want to make a description for them, we just simply put the desk behind it again. And we're going to say Spain is a little bit annoying. So let's give them a rough time. That's good. So we're going to do the same here too. Desk. I like a good holiday on an island. Alright, so then we have that localization. So I'm gonna relaunch the game and you'll see that uh, it is it is indeed in the game. Alright, so I'm just gonna change a little thing. I have the custom effect tooltip in complete tooltip. You don't want to do that. You want to put it in completion reward. So we can remove the tooltip now, that's useless for us. And now we have a problem because we have our tooltip as well as our thing that says, hey, Spain's gonna get an event. So we wanna hide this from the effect. How we do that is hidden effect. And then we just uh, move it up there. So now it's hidden, and if we save the file, it's going to say, hey, spark the Civil War. This line was wrong as well. You don't need that. You just need TT. So, now that we have this ready, we have our localization ready. We can basically start making whatever we want for focuses. So there's one thing that's pretty useful to know. There is what's called an uh, if statement, which is basically if a condition is met, do something. And I'll just show an example of that. So we're going to make a focus, which is called, um, I don't know, Annex Gibraltar. And we're going to make it Dublin Territory again. We're going to set the relative position ID to, uh, again, the cat ignites the war. We're going to move this around a bit. We're going to say x equals 1. We're going to say x equals minus 1. We're going to say this x equals 1. So, prerequisite, yeah. And we're going to use mutual. Um, let's not do that right now. 
let's just put it in. Um, cost equals five, that's fine. And what we're gonna say now is we're gonna bypass this state now, so we're gonna say 118. And what we're gonna say is we're gonna say if equals, then we're gonna set our condition. Our condition is used in limit. So we're gonna say, hey, if UK doesn't, uh, if UK owns the state, so in, uh, sorry, so we're gonna say 118 is owned by equals cat. Sorry, ing. We're gonna say this is what we're doing. So this is the condition, this is what we're actually gonna do. So we're gonna say cat equals transfer state 118. So if England controls the state, we're gonna transfer it. So let's just say um, not. They don't own it. So if we save this file and we open Arts of Iron 4, you can see our location is different now. And you can see this focus doesn't do anything because they don't own Gibraltar. So we probably, uh, sorry, they own Gibraltar and we said it shouldn't be controlled by, shouldn't be owned by England. So let's say for this we need uh, available for 108 is owned by, so we're going to say not again. Alright, so now we can't do the focus if it isn't controlled by, if, if it is controlled by England. So we're going to save it and we're going to see, hey, we can't do the focus. So now if we say uh, if we turn the Spanish Republic to be the owner, switch back, suddenly we can do this focus. So we're going to auto complete this. And then we're going to do this focus. And hey, we are now proud owner of Gibraltar. So that's how if statements work. It's This is really useful. It's good for many situations. It's good to make sure something happens or doesn't happen if you don't want it to. Um, and that's the basics of focus trees explained. So I hope you guys liked it. And that's going to be it for today. So have a good time and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.